Okay, I'm making this. This is a follow-up to my last video on adding a font to this tattered flag with open lines. Now, I added that in the last video. I added the font in here. So, basically differencing it out of the main design. And I did that by converting it to a path, turning the fill off, stroke on, and combining it with path combine to the flag design and you can then send that to the cutter and it'll cut out and it'll cut those letters out one aspect i didn't cover is that's fine if you're adding the font inside the design but what if you wanted to add font along say the top of the design so it's essentially unioned to the outline here so let's say we're going to add some font here we'll go with austin loves Oreos and I want to add this font to the top of this flag which obviously this isn't gonna line up great without uh, bending it but let's just pretend like it lines up good here so Austin loves Oreos and I want to union that along the top there well, that's not gonna that's not gonna fit real well so we'll just go ahead and first you'd want to convert your font to a path so path object to path now that's a group of 16 objects I'm gonna go object ungroup and then I'm gonna go path union now that font has been converted to one solid path now in order to bend this, this is a little extra step, but to bend that to fit, I'm going to go to my, I don't see it here, oh, my path effects menu. Hit plus here, and I'm going to use the bend tool. So now that I've selected the bend tool, I'll come over here with the path selected and select this. That's going to give me my bend line. Then I'm going to bend this where it'll curve to the flag a little better there you know not that this is really a design I'm actually gonna make but just so visually it will fit on the top of this flag a little better for a better example okay so I've bent my path to conform to the flag a little better there now in order to keep that I have to once again convert this to a path so now I have to go path object to path and as you see that got rid of my bend menu over here now that's kind of an extra step that not really needing to cover here but we're back to now we have our text it's converted to a path and i want to add that to the outline of this flag well if i just select this and select the flag and hit path union it's going to do like in my previous video it just wrecks the inside of that design because of those open lines everything disappears what's left is wonky and distorted so I'm gonna hit control Z or I believe it's edit uh, maybe file undo I don't know I always use the shortcut but it's the undo control Z right there undo okay so I undid that why my font went back I don't know I'm gonna hit shift control Z huh that is really weird anyway that should not have undid my bend but I'm gonna go ahead and rebend that there we go like I say this is kind of an extra step just to be funny but maybe you want to bend your text along the flag so you know the bend tool and how that works so I bent my font to fit there roughly I mean that you can tell it's not it's not perfect where I've got it lined up but let's just call that good okay now I'm gonna do path object path again so now my fonts bent it's a path and I want to add it to the flag what I need to do is select the flag and hit shift control K and now my path is broken apart now what I want to do is select just the outline of that path and then select my font and hit shift control plus or 
path union. And when I did the shift control K, that was path break apart. Just I, I get in the habit of using shortcuts and sometimes forget to explain what those are. But when I broke that apart, that's path, break apart, and then I select the font and the flag outline and do path, union. So now my font is unioned to the top of my flag. Now I would drag a box because this flag is still broken apart. As you can see, there's still all these separate paths. And now I would go to path combine now that my font is union to the top of my flag. So that's how you add font to the outside of a path, a design with open paths. The last video we covered how to add the font to the inside, which was just simply combining it once it was converted to a path and changed a stroke. Now if you're wanting to union to the outside of a design, you're going to want to break it apart union your path to the outline and then recombine everything hopefully that helps some people out thanks for watching